evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of your one and only Tabitha Show right here on Alta TV. My name is Tabitha Chibula, your host for today and always, hopefully. Today is quite a fruitful day as I have with me Jeremiah Mokona that's going to talk to us about smoothie basics. If you haven't heard about it, stay tuned. You will find out what it's about. So sorry to catch you. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, Tabitha. Good, good, good. So tell me about Jeremiah Mokono. Who are you? Where do you come from? And what do you do? As you said, I'm Jeremiah. And uh, initially, I come from Kenya. Landed in the year 2004. Three years later, uh, we became Canadian citizens. Nice. And uh, we've been doing all sorts of jobs here and there. But now we have settled on a business that is of our own. A smoothie basics and uh, that's where I am with my co-founder and my dear wife Dorcas Pam so that's what we're doing in Edmonton now that's awesome so smoothie basics where did this whole idea come from maybe not even the name but the whole idea of we need to get smoothies okay I can say the whole idea of smoothie basics it's both a coincidence and also something that carries the passion that we have that we need to do in uh, society. Sure. It goes back to one very hot summer when I was walking somewhere in Clairview and I see somebody carrying a, gra uh, a nice glass of what I came to learn as smoothie. Mm -hmm. I've never tasted it before. Sure. I looked at the guy as he was walking into the sun and I'm walking through the sun. He was really looking very happy with the glass in his hand. So... I was like, I sure need that. So I walked in and I told the lady at the counter, I need like that one. I <laughs> whatever that know, is. <laughs> right, whatever right. it is, that's what I need. <laughs> sure. So when she made it, the thing was just, wow, that's what, that's what I needed. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I went back home, I thought, well, I had that very nice thing, but my kids and my wife, they don't have it. What can I do? So I went online, did research on how to make a smoothie. We went and put a blender. We halfway made the first smoothie, but because we were using frozen fruits, it broke down. So a few days after we went on Kijiji, we bought a commercial blender. We made a few smoothies, they were really nice. It broke down. Another day I was at Costco and they were advertising blenders. They were doing the demo right there. Right. So I end up buying this uh, blender, Phytonix by the way. It did the job very nice. And now we were enjoying smoothies back at home. And we started getting the healthy benefits. We didn't know smoothies have healthy benefits. But sure. somewhere down the line, we started throwing in greens and sure. nuts and all sorts of vegetables. And we could feel it. Our joints, the body was feeling light. And mm. I used to have a stomach. Where is it, it at it, now? It, it, it's it, all it, gone. It, it's all gone. Yeah. So someplace, somewhere, I did ask myself, can somebody change his life the way we have done buying a smoothie out there? We didn't change our lives buying smoothies out there. We had the benefits doing the smoothie at home. So from there we thought, how can we get people to enjoy smoothies right. without breaking their bank account? Sure. So that's when we thought of the idea of smoothie basics. So we how did the name come about, if I could ask? Uh, smoothie basics. Let's concentrate on the basics. Mm -hmm. The basic thing you need to make a smoothie is a blender and fruits and vegetables. Sure. So in our approach, we are not going to expect people to come to our shop, which is uh, down on Jasper, to buy smoothies every day. Right. No, you need to make the smoothie at home. So besides the business part of it, making money to pay for our bills and also to run our family, and, uh, mm -hmm. we have a wider goal of enabling every Canadian and maybe everybody who gets to know about Smoothie Basics actually to have smoothies as their main diet. 
Okay. You can do it in your kitchen. You can go and buy the smoothie basics sure. all elsewhere, but put smoothies and juices as part of your diet. So that is the basics of this of uh, of changing your life is have a blender and use it. Sure. So that's where the name Smoothie Basics comes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Whose idea was that? Was it? Did you come up with this? Well, or? we've. It's 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 me and my wife. Okay. Creative lady. Two's so. better than one. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. So tell me because, so you're based in Edmonton. Yeah. And you came from Toronto, is what I found out. Yeah. So why didn't you think of maybe studying? I guess that particular story of in Clearview didn't happen in Toronto. Mm. But is it because you found a need of it in Edmonton as well? Because you could have just had the smoothie mm. and said, oh, this is good. We can make some at home. Mm. Like some people actually just make regular smoothies at home and it's fine. Mm. Why did you decide to turn that into a business? Did you see a need? Were there people approaching you? Like we need this out there. How did that idea come about? Well, the idea of moving the smoothie from our kitchen to the public is we want to be where people can see us, where we can interact with people so that we share what we have come to know about the benefits of smoothies mm. and juice. Yeah, so, and we also do wraps, by the way. It's, it's, it's smoothie basics, but it's raw foods and cooked. So we need to do the business of smoothie in a way that people get to know what is the benefit of a smoothie. Yes. How can I best uh, incorporate smoothies into my life? So we, we, if we do it in our kitchen, nobody's not going to, is going to know about it. Right. But if we do it outside there, we are going to interact with more people and we will get the word out there so that actually we can contribute. It's, it's also a way of contributing to this great country that sure. we now call our home. Awesome. So you did mention that you have wraps as well. Yeah. So apart from smoothies and wraps, what else do you do um, at Smoothie Basics? Okay, at Smoothie Basics, we do we do sugar cane juice. Oh, nice. Yeah, and we also do uh, sandwiches. Okay. Uh, which are from... Uh, uh, well, the bread is already baked. That one we can change. Sure. But everything else is basically raw food. Organic. Yeah, nice, organic. Nice, nice. Organic, actually. Yeah, so... And we also have the social responsibility part of it. Okay. That we felt like if we perhaps raise money and buy a franchise, we are not going to get into the social aspect of changing lives of sure. people. So besides selling the smoothie, we are running kind of a parallel program okay. that is really focused at helping people, mm -hmm. getting people to enjoy the smoothie right. and also changing people's lives. So if you look here, Smoothie Basics, Canada's Many Board, Changing, changing lives, lives Through, through good, good Health, health food. Foods. So Good Health Food is the point we meet and then we start talking. You want the smoothie to change your life? We talk about the benefits of a smoothie and you can have it, enjoy it, either at Smoothie Basics or in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. You want to mobilize people to do something good like studying uh, organic gardens back in your, in your backyard or uh, somewhere around the city? Smoothie Basics is where we can meet. You want assistance to do that? Smoothie Basics is where we can meet. So besides selling the smoothie, actually we want to get into community okay. to change people's lives. That's so, awesome. That's yeah. great. So yes, there's multiple health benefits. Like you said, changing lives through good health foods. So you were talking about yourself, for example, how you started at a certain weight and you ended up losing weight because of the smoothies. Mm. So like, let's take examples of the smoothies that are right here that look yeah. absolutely delicious, by the way. Yeah. What do I need to expect as I'm about to take a sip of this mango smoothie? Okay, uh, I take mango smoothies a lot. Um, and when I look at you, your face is beautiful. Thank you. But with lots of mango smoothies, I don't know. I, 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 something maybe totally different may have. It, it, sure. it will shine. 
<laughs> so mango smoothie, it's good. Mangoes, they make your skin nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. Then when we get to detox smoothies, this has got celery and it has um could put spinach with mm. avocado. Actually, the avocado together with the pit. We don't take the okay. pit. Okay. The whole thing, we crush it in. Because oh. the pit is the one that has the highest concentration sure. of nutrients in that sure. avocado. So when you take this, uh, the, 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 the free radicals in that are all over in the body because of the various other foods mm-hmm. that we eat and process and all that, this detox is able to clean your body. Wow. So, yeah, it, it's a way of strengthening and boosting your, your immunity. Uh, it's a way of getting rid of excess toxins in your body. Mm-hmm. So that's why we're not just selling something delicious. Sure. We're selling something healthy that can help you uh, in your body feel good. Which is absolutely delicious, by the way. You guys need to get your hands on this ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. So good job, because this is actually pretty good. And I don't know, I feel energetic all of a sudden, and I feel like my skin is starting to change. (laughs) So you're doing wonders. So why not any other smooth places? Why should I go on a hot summer day, or even a cold winter where I feel like a smoothie? Because in Edmonton, winter doesn't change anything for us. Mm. I feel like a smoothie... I have to make up my mind on where I want to go get one. I could go in so many different places. Yeah. Why smoothie basics? Well, first of all, a smoothie has to be nice uh, for you to come back. So this smoothie here, it's just, we, we, we actually make it, we call it the keys smoothies. Keep it stupid simple. Mm-hmm. Just fruits vegetables we don't add any powder we don't add any like anything processed and you can taste it you can the, taste natural, the natural fruit yeah uh, absolutely yeah if it's the greens you can you can yeah. taste them and we we balance them so that uh you get the nice taste and you also get the nutrients the nutrients yeah that that's that's basically when you say i need something tasty but beyond something tasty It's good that if you are doing a business, give back to community. Mm -hmm. So when at Smoothie Basics, we see a customer walking in, we don't just see somebody who is bringing us money. Sure. In the back of our mind, maybe as I'm pressing the blender and I'm looking at you, I'm looking at somebody who is helping us to support the community mm. because besides selling smoothies we really getting into community to change people's lives through good food and through giving back to community so, so that's that's one thing right. i will encourage anybody to choose smoothie basics mm-hmm. because it's not just sipping it when you sip it you are doing something good in the community so what kind of programs does Smoothie Basics have that could help out the community? I know there is Canada, Yes We Can. Can you talk to me about that? Oh, uh, Canada, Yes We Can. And actually, uh, we have one of our flyers here. Yes. If you look, you can see it looks pretty much like the official uh, com- correspondence from Canada. Sure. It, the map will leave and the everything, Canada, right. And, but... Look at the details here. <gasps> I it's didn't even notice. Ma- it's not the maple leaf. It's an apple. It's an apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, we have a program that we want to help choose up Canada mm-hmm. so that people can have as much of choosing at home as they could. Yeah. Canada is a cold country whereby you have a very short growing season sure. but we want people to grow as much organic foods in their backyards uh, in their balcony even those who are staying on, on apartments, apartments or whatever yeah. right yeah and in the surrounding areas community gardens and all that so we have this our program uh canada yes we can and under this canada yes we can actually we are launching next weekend what we call one for one 
When you walk into Smoothie Basics store between the hour of noon and one o'clock, every smoothie that you buy, we don't keep the money. We give that money to community. And between now and uh, May, we are having a huge target, $10,000. Nice. Yeah, so every customer who walks to Smoothie Basics between the hour of noon and 1 p.m., all the money that they spend, one smoothie, about $8, we give $8 to the community in the form of uh, buying fruits, uh, nursery vegetables to plant mm. like your celery, your, your spinach, your kale and all that. Sure. So that when spring comes next year, we will be having all these fruit trees. If you want to replace uh, the, 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 the maple leaf tree here mm. in the front of your backyard with a nice goji tree, yeah. which is very good for detox, by the way, you can come to Smoothie Basics and as long as you meet the criteria, you will have that. Somebody needs to plant maybe a berry, we will be having that. We will be buying those trees and we have them ready to give to community. And why are we doing this? We want to put a statement out there that when you walk out, you look at that tree, it's a statement to you that please do something good for your sure. health. Yeah. Take juices, take something that will detox your body, that will add more vitamins, mm -hmm. make your body fight. Plan. Right, right. Yeah. So this one for one that you were telling me about, you're launching it um, shortly here. Yes, so I buy one smoothie and then between the hours of noon to one, that price or whatever it is that I purchase, the smoothie that I purchase, that price goes into helping the community. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something awesome. So where, if the people that are listening to us right now, yes, you will see the details of the address below, but can you tell us the address of the shop so that we know where to go at noon for lunchtime? Okay, yeah, we are right on Chaspa Avenue and in what is coming out as uh, the healthy eating district in Edmonton. Mm. It's right between, uh, on Chaspa Avenue, sure. right between uh, Edmonton General Hospital and St. Joseph's Cathedral. Quite oh, okay. a good number of restaurants, vegetarian, vegan sure. restaurants. Sure. We have Dai Pai, we have um, uh, some two Vietnamese uh, uh, vegetarian restaurants, mm. and we have uh, the Green Mustache. Okay. And the latest addition is Smoothie Basics. Sure. Which opened one month ago. Which congratulations, by the way. Thank you, thank you. So our particular address is 11219 Jasper Avenue. Just opposite uh, 7 Eleven. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So uh, come next weekend, we are launching our one for one uh, campaign. And the goal is to raise $10,000 by May so that we can use this to help people. When it's the planting season, they can be able to sure. grow uh, various uh, organic uh, vegetables, fruits, fruits, and right. nuts, and all that so that they can choose throughout the summer yeah so come to smoothie basics 11219 jasper avenue during the hour of uh, lunch that's uh, from noon to one o'clock whatever smoothie you buy if it's five dollars we give five dollars if it's eight dollars we give eight dollars if you come in a group buy 50 uh, smoothies for 150 dollars that's exactly what we give to the, the Canada community. Yes We Can campaign. And and it's not just till May. This is forever and it's just going to continue like that. So I just want to congratulate you on that yeah, as it's, well. It's for as long as Smoothie Basics is on one, uh, between noon and one, it's one for one. Buy a smoothie, give a smoothie to the community. So for lunch, let's skip the burgers for just a quick second. This is an amazing cause, so let's go ahead and support, absolutely. I just wanna thank you so much for taking time, being on the tab of the show, it was an, a pleasure. Quite a tasty episode this was, absolutely. Cheers. Thank you. And have a good one. Good night. The tab of the show.